Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. It is just after one o'clock in Honolulu, seven o'clock in New York on Wednesday, eighth day of May, 2024. And this is the evening report for gold and silver. Gold prices continue to drift lower as market participants digest the FOMC meeting statement, the press conference, as well as a multitude of Federal Reserve officials coming out both dovish and hawkish. In Globex and New York, gold gave up approximately $7, closing at $23.2420. Additional selling is occurring in Australia with the current price of June futures fixed at $2,316.30. We are certainly seeing gold and silver uncouple from the tandem nature it used to have. Gold traded lower today, silver traded higher. In New York and Globex, it gained eight and a half cents, taking July silver to $27.56 and a half cents. The dollar traded it higher now for the second consecutive day. The index is currently fixed at 105.57 after accounting for a net gain of 0.14%. On today's show, I do want to start with a daily silver chart. I am more bullish on silver than gold. When we look at the activity from mid-February, when silver traded to a low of about $22.50, and then actually challenged on an intraday basis, that's this wick here, $30 per ounce, and then sold off tremendously, giving back about 50%. The 50% Fib retracement is at 26 33 and a half cents. You can see that no real bodies, meaning the open and closed relationship, traded to that point, but you see two wicks, one occurring on Thursday, May 2nd, the other one on Friday, May 3rd, did actually challenge with Thursday's wick going just below this key level, 26 33 and a half cents. Also, we're looking at the moving average as coming in alignment with the 50% retracement and now moving above that particular price point. The fact that we saw silver move a couple of days ago above the 38.2% Fib retracement at $27.24. That's what we would expect to see on a market that has corrected and formed a base and moved off of that. In other words, that key reversal, that pivot from bearish to bullish. Also, when we convert our standard candlestick chart to a Hankinashi, and remember that the Hankinashi fixes the open off the midpoint of the prior candle or the prior day in the case of a daily chart, shows a significant move down all red candles. And so far over the last couple of days, we have had all green candles, which tells me that there is bullish market sentiment for silver short term when you add together all of the components that we have just spoken about. If this bullish trend that we have identified over just a few days continues, and that's what's held us back from issuing a buy signal, we would look for silver to challenge 2836, which is the 23.6% Fibonacci retracement with major resistance not occurring till about $29.22. And it is based upon this top right here that occurred in the middle of April. We are looking at a daily chart of gold futures, the continuous contract now representing June gold. Obviously, gold has traded lower under pressure since hitting the new record high back on April the 12th. It has been possibly forming a bull flag as we identified back here when it hit resistance today and traded lower and is declining also overseas in Australia tells us that we might witness it going back into this channel, which makes it less likely that we actually have a bull flag. What we really needed to see was a move above this upper level resistance line, which strongly suggests that our current wave four on our Elliott wave count, wave one, two, three, and four has not concluded. To that end, I've added another Fib retracement. This Fib retracement simply covers the rally from 2000 to 2448. 
That's our wave three, which tells us that if selling pressure continues and gold breaks below $2,300 per ounce, that is the long-term Fib retracement, we could see gold drift as low as $2,210 to $2,225. That is based upon the short and long-term Fib retracement. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.